psalmist says in Psalm 46, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountain shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. We'll hear this psalm later in the month in our Reformation services. It's the psalm that Martin Luther used to inspire when he wrote, A Mighty Fortress is Our God, the hymn of the Reformation. So 506 years ago, Luther posted the 95 Theses on the Castle Church in Wittenberg that started what we call the Reformation. It's not clear what Luther thought would happen as he began to speak out against the practices of the Roman Catholic Church. 500 years ago, in 1523, the Reformation was in full swing. Luther had emerged from his exile at the Wartburg. Luther had published his German translation of the New Testament that he had done while he was in exile, and in 1523 continued by publishing his translation of the Pentateuch, the first five books of the Old Testament. He continued to speak and act against monasteries and covenant and convents, and in 1523, smuggled 12 nuns out of um, a convent in herring barrels, and two years later would marry one of the nuns, Catherine von Bora. The Reformation was changing the church dramatically, but we forget that it was not a smooth process. Certainly there was conflict with the Roman Catholic Church, but there was infighting in the Reformation movement. By 1523, Andreas Karlstadt and Thomas Munzer would break with Luther, Karlstadt over the issue of images in the church and an understanding of communion. Karlstadt would never reconcile with Luther. Thomas Munzer denounced Luther as a carrion crow, father pussyfoot, doctor liar, the Wittenberg Pope, the archdevil, a rabid fox. Munzer was killed in 1525 in the Peasants' War when the German princes, with Luther's support, attacked. Why do I mention these things? Because the Reformation was not smooth sailing. The history of our Lutheran church is one of conflict, disagreement. Sadly, it was violent at times. But the, as the church, we are always being reformed. Sempa reformata, never ending process. God is moving us to reform. The dilemma is that it can be painful and seldom is it easy to agree as we consider Reformation. This synod and assembly memorialized the churchwide assembly to once again look and see where God is calling for us to reform. The commission for the renewed Lutheran church has begun its work. There will be listening sessions in this fall and people will have an opportunity to give input. I would encourage you to engage and to share your thoughts in meetings and in writing. Pastor Carla Christopher from our synod, one of the co-chairs of the commission, is available for feedback. This is not a new thing. This is what we've always been about. And my hope is that we can hear God's call for reform and respond in unity that expresses the difference that we are as we continue to be faithful and shaped by our Lutheran confessions. Have a blessed Reformation celebration. And peace be with you.